So EliteDaily.com, what they did is they interviewed a handful of couples on camera and asked them how many partners, sexual partners, they have had in front of their significant others. Watch the video. Do you know how many people each other have slept with? No. Oh, no, 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 uh, -uh no. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Okay, so if you watch the video, you see some people be really forthright and honest. Some of them tell them their number without even the significant uh, other knowing what that number was to begin with. We have a lot to talk about here. Thoughts, five words or less. Sex is the new handshake. Ooh. You guys have had sex. Okay. I feel really, that's terrible. Ooh, I'm Sorry. I'm so tired. Ooh. Sorry, my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> uh, five. Like, plead the fifth. Ooh, that's good. Can't have sex without X, EX. Because we all got them. We all that's a do. good one. So should you leave your sexual past in the past? Do you have that conversation with your whoever you're dating? When do you have that conversation? I think it should be left in the past. Okay. Especially, don't ever go into detail about anything, too. That really messes everything up. It's strange how that happens. Brett, it does. Yeah, definitely don't use the word better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's better? Oh, my God. Just shy away from that. Um, I think it matters. You both, whatever, whether you care about the past or not, you both need to be doing the same thing. You know, and, but try as hard as you can to get over it good way to do that is like just go get tested for stuff so that you can officially say like what's in the past will not affect us in any measurable way moving forward everything's yeah. going to be psychological at at most Plus, which it's like can be daunting the psychological aspect is very daunting i always want to know I do. I want to know and I hate that about me. I wish I could just be like, oh, the past is in the past and be merry and jolly about all of it. But I'm a very curious person. And so right. I want to know. Then again, the last time I was in a relationship was 10 years ago. I've been with the same person for 10 years. So I was a lot younger then. Now, if I started fresh on the dating pool, maybe it wouldn't, it wouldn't be an issue. But I remember then I had to know. I was like, what is your number? But yeah. it shouldn't matter. It should not matter just as long as that person is faithful and as you guys are going to, you know, jointly apply those same methodologies to your new relationship. I don't think it matters how many people you've had sex with because if you didn't have sex with those people, then you wouldn't be the same person you are today in that <laughs> relationship. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yes. Does it matter? Does anyone, by round of applause, does anybody know, does it matter to you in the audience? No, everyone's no. like, no. I can't Good. tell if you just don't clap for me. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> there we go, no, no, no. Um, I think, it cannot matter un until the number gets to like 100. It's hard for you to be like, eh, it doesn't matter. 125. Okay. Depending on age. Because we saw one couple, I don't know if it was showcased in the video, where one couple, they were, they were quite older. Okay, they were probably in their 60s. I think the guy could even have been in his early 70s. And their numbers were both, or his over was like over 100, hers was 75. But then again, if you've been single for 50 something years, <laughs> dude, you gotta take that into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Well, well, your Facebook says otherwise, but. <laughs> uh, but it can cause a lot of drama. I bought it all can. Those I guess, you know, some of the people, you, if you watch the video, you can tell that they didn't even wanna bring up that issue because of the very fact that they, they would feel judged. Right, yeah. because there is that uh, judgment that we have in society today. People still slut shame, and that's a terrible thing, and it's horrible. And for guys, it's the opposite. For guys, it's like, oh, you've only had sex with less than a baseball team's worth of people. Yeah, yeah very like, that's true. A it shouldn't you never matter. feel bad, and also, sex is great and fun, and like you should do it, you know, while you can. Yeah, for right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Handshake. Oh, three way. Yeah. Three way. With three way. <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right. So we got to take another break. We'll be right back.